Retired Constitutional Court Justice Albi Sachs is set to deliver the fourth annual Social Justice Lecture on Tuesday. It's hosted by the Centre for Social Justice at Stellenbosch University. The lecture comes a day after the World Day of Social Justice on the 20th of February. For more on this now, we're joined by the Director of the Centre for Social Justice at Stellenbosch University, Professor Tuli Madansela. Prof, thank you so much for your time joining us virtually from beautiful Stellenbosch. Um, when I saw that uh, Justice Albi Sachs will be your um, your guest lecturer, I always, I always thought, think when I see his name saying, oh, what a treat whoever is going to be sitting in that lecture hall is in for. Because whenever I've heard him speak, he has an ability just to bring us back to centre and to remind us all of where we come and why we are doing what we are doing. Why is it significant for you that someone like Justice Sachs um, will be delivering this lecture where we find ourselves in this year, 2023. Greetings, Marcel, and to viewers. Thank you for this privilege. I couldn't think of any better person to give a social justice lecture right now. When we are at crossroads, others say we are at an inflection point, others say we are at a precipice. Um, precipice, I'm sorry. and. He has been through all of it. He joined the struggle at the age of about 17. He has seen it all, but he remains very hopeful. And he is one of the drafters of the Constitution mm. and has delivered some of the groundbreaking judgments that give, that give us a sense that the Constitution is a transformative blueprint. Now, this lecture does, of course, come just at the back of World Day of Social Justice. And that, of course, is meant to highlight the need for fair and equal treatment of people. And we don't know, need any reminder of that in South Africa. We find ourselves in one of the most unequal societies in the world. How do we link this lecture to that day? It will definitely be linked to the International Day of Social Justice, which will be on the 20th. And we are doing the social justice lecture on the 21st because it's varsity sports day on the 20th and on that day we will be highlighting action for inclusion which is still about social justice because it's about human solidarity and and social inclusion in higher education and of course justice sex will be reflecting on the constitution and social justice asking the pressing question, is this the country we were fighting for? Mm. And that will need a lot of pondering, won't it? Uh, the lecture also comes just a few days after we've heard um, the latest crime statistics here in South Africa. Mm. I just had a conversation with Brett Heron about that, and he spoke quite eloquently about how our battle with crime in South Africa is one that cannot just be left at the feet of the police and that we have failed uh, our people in, in many ways, in, including um, allowing the gap between the haves and the have-nots to, to widen even more. Do you think that we look at issues like crime, issues like poverty in South Africa, do we look at these problems enough um, behind the veil of social justice in, uh, enough? Are we looking at these issues of issues of human rights and social justice and allowing that to guide how we try and get to um, the core of the scourge and try and, and beat it in what, some way, shape or form? We don't look at the issue of crime and personal security sufficiently as a social justice issue. When it comes to gender, we have come to terms with the reality that it is an issue of fairness to all. It is an issue of power relations in society, and it is an issue of equal enjoyment of all rights and freedoms. But I like the fact that you and our colleague Brett link social justice to crime. Because, as he said earlier, part of the reason we have exceptionally high levels of crime in historically deprived areas 
is because the infrastructure is terrible, the lighting is terrible, and also there's poverty because a lot of crime is by people who want freedom from want. Of course, some of it is just plain criminality. So he also said something that is extremely important is that we need to look at crime from a systems lens. This belief that if we if we police perfectly, crime will end, is a very myopic uh, understanding of the problem. Crime is a systems problem. It is about moral decay. It's about a, a culture of criminality. It's about poverty. And then, of course, it is about infrastructure and, and, and policing. That's why during President Nelson Mandela, the emphasis was not just on policing, it was a national crime prevention strategy that covered all of these multiple mm. dimensions. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. Always good to chat. That's Professor Tuli Madansela from the University of Stellenbosch uh, talking to us ahead of um, the fourth annual social justice lecture taking place on Tuesday. Retired Constitutional Court Justice L.B. Sachs will be delivering that lecture um, uh, next week.